Gold and silver have been the predominant currencies for about 5,000 years. But it wasn't until they were minted into coins of equal weights somewhere in Lydia that they became money. How did such a great and powerful civilization fall? Perhaps they felt that they were superior, superior. couldn't make a mistake, exactly. they knew better. Exactly, <laughs> and they ended up destroying their society. It's a road that we're going down today, right? I think absolutely. The Seven Stages of Empire. It's a long-term cycle that echoes throughout history right to this very day and is basically a societal pendulum that swings from quality money to quantity currency and back again to quality money. Bright young economic students just don't understand gold. Turn on the television, watch them with the price of gold. Look at the dollar going down, gold's going up, silver's going up. That's exactly the way it's always worked. And why is anyone surprised? To understand gold, you have to understand monetary history. Once you see where we've come from, you can get a much clearer understanding of how the seven stages of empire are playing out right now. The thing that amazes me is how history just keeps on repeating and repeating and repeating, and we never learn from all of our stupid mistakes. Today, we are doing the same thing that the Athenians did that caused the loss of their great culture. We're doing the same currency debasement. We're doing the same deficit spending, and it's for the same reasons. It's for war, and it's for great public works. There is no other side. You either silver and gold, or you're doomed. When I wrote my book, I said that we're coming into an era that is going to be the greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind. Therefore, it's the greatest opportunity in the history of mankind.